You wouldn't expect to find this Italian villa along the Columbia River, but what a treasure. In 1926, it was featured in Home and Garden magazine. Then it was all but forgotten until Mother Mary Michael and her friends came along. You know, and I'm sure they had lots of parties, lawn parties. A woman of tremendous spirit, Mother Mary Michael, and the Franciscan Sisters of the Eucharist revived the old mansion. The garden was acres of blackberry thickets and garbage. What they found is astounding. Their water fountain beats all. It is beautiful. Coopy Falls, 171 feet high, is in their backyard, next to a vegetable garden and acres of flowers. Well, being a Franciscan, I cannot look at anything but say, what a great job God did. <laughs> I know, absolutely. You know, and the, the variety of colors exactly. and forms. It, it, it boggles your mind if you start thinking about it. In the 1970s, the sisters bought this place for $60,000 and slowly turned the mansion into a convent, with a lot of help from friends who fell in love with the place and the people. The garden grows entirely on the kindness of volunteers. Not only do the gardeners take care of the plants, they also buy their favorites and put them in. People like Elizabeth, a master gardener, I love gardening and this is a beautiful place and it's a privilege to be here. Mother Nature has a good friend in Mother Michael and the House at Bridal Vale has the garden to prove it.